incredibly thought-provoking story, and you're both absolutely wonderful in it. I heard that Jonathan Cavendish, the son of the people that you play, commissioned the story, and he also was a producer on it. Did you get to work with him? Did he give you any anecdotes about his parents or give you any tips on how to play them? Oh, yeah, he was very, very present. He was... He was there every single day, He was every single day. day. It's his story, you know. It's his, it's his heart on screen. And uh, it felt... I mean, I, I, I wouldn't have been able to do the film without him, I don't think. I think he was a touchstone for me in terms of information, but also in terms of a, a spiritual essence, because he's definitely inherited lots of his father's characteristics, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he he's an extraordinary man. Yes. He was a bit... It, 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 there was no... Didn't feel like there was any... He, but he was very much the producer. I didn't feel like he had... He wasn't... He didn't have... Um, he wasn't... Um, um, he didn't take control of it in any way. He let us. Yeah. He was aware that we were doing. It, it never felt like he was dictating to us how we should behave, or he never really massively stepped in or said, "Guys, I just you're not really getting the point." Um, he really just realised it was something. It was becoming something else. His life on screen was becoming something else. Mm -hmm. And tell me about working with Andy Serkis as a director in his first time film. Is it helpful to have a director who's also an actor? Sure, I think so. Yeah, absolutely. And Andy's such a wonderful actor. Um, but I think he he has the knowledge and the awareness that there are many ways to skin a cat, as it were, and that every actor approaches the work differently. And so he allowed space and, and time for that to occur. And he really trusted me and Claire to, to do our work. And, and uh, he would he would um, be very, very faithful that we, we, we kind of had... We were showing up full and ready to go. Mm -hmm. Tell me what it was like to play a character with so many physical limitations. Oh, uh, a fascinating and uh, a, a real privilege to to play this part. Um, and the physical limitations are, are, of course, a huge part of, of playing the role. But I think, as far as Robin was concerned and Diana, that, that they that was just a small part of, of his makeup. You know, he, he the whole point of the story is is that that's not who I am. I am essentially um, this person, I am essentially this soul, and how do I make sure that this soul gets to have the full impact and absorption of, of this life and the world that he, um, he's in? So uh, the limitations were there, but you know, they, 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 were, they had to become secondary, I think, to the, um, the love story. Claire, I understand that you wanted to make sure that your character wasn't over-sentimentalized in this movie. Tell me how you came to that decision. Well, I mean, it's not something I was really in control of, I suppose. I could only do what I was doing and then hope that everyone else felt the same when they were editing it together. Um, but I just was very... I, I think there's there's a, sometimes an inclination that crying or really having that big, exp like, expressive moment as an actor is, is the right thing, and a lot of the time it isn't. A lot of the time you don't really see people just sort of walking around places just weeping. I mean, sometimes you do, but a lot of the time we all hold it together. Yeah. Um, and it comes out at the, um, the worst moments or the most private moments. You don't, um, you know, and so I, I think it's honouring the fact that <clears throat> a lot of people aren't able to access that and don't understand why they're behaving the way that they're behaving. They're just doing it and they don't want to think about it and so they just carry on. That is what people are trying to do and live and, uh, and I didn't want to be mawkish and ghoulish and kind of like, this feels really good to cry. <laughs> so I just tried to keep a lid on it. But a lot of the time I couldn't. So mm -hmm. some slipped out. <laughs> Great acting choices, both of you. This is an incredible film. I expect to see it winning some awards this year. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thanks so much.